Hey guys, D-Pad Danny back again. Today I'm playing Katamari Damacy for PlayStation 2. Okay, Katamari Damacy. Started a new game, so I'm gonna have to go through the uh, tutorial. I'm gonna try to skip past as much as I can. King of Cosmos has you pick up stuff, but you gotta go through this tutorial crap first. So, roll forward, roll to the right, roll to the left, roll backwards, roll sideways. Alright, next. Dazzling. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, charge it by moving the sticks around. Quick term, I'm clicking them in. Look. Jump. Alright, amazing. Cosmos, I guess. That's the uh, backstory, and you need to roll up a bunch of crap on Earth to, uh, to kind of build the stars and the planets and stuff back together. And the king is very long-winded, as you can see. Alright, so each stage, basically, you have a, uh, a size that you need to get to. This one's five centimeters. Um, the more you roll up, the bigger things you'll be able to roll up. And that's, you know, how you get exponentially bigger as you, you progress in the stage. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, stop talking. And if you bump into some things, you, stuff will fall off, so... Here we go, picking up some small stuff. Caramels, chestnuts. Okay, I can pick up those match boxes, but I can pick up the individual matches. I almost fell off. Turn around because I can't see. These tacks and slug. That snail did not like me running into them, I guess. Okay, I got a soy sauce packet that looked like a fish. Matches, more matches. The king likes to talk a lot. It really gets in the way. Oh, I guess I don't have a time limit or a size limit for this one. I thought it was five centimeters, but I guess that's what I started off at. So, just need to collect a bunch of stuff. Let's go down here. Rotate, we got these candies, some chocolate, it's we're just laying out for some reason. I don't think that's uh probably tastes very good. It's all moldy and dusty sitting on the floor. These eye drops, again on the floor, not really sure why. Okay, uh, okay, ten kilometers, how fabulous. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so I guess this was just kind of the intro stage. You got to get to 10 centimeters. I haven't really played this game a whole lot, to be honest. This is one of those games that my wife really likes, and the only reason we have them is because she likes them. I've made a point to uh, to buy uh, all all the, the uh, Kenmar games that I can from the systems that we have for her. Um, so, like last. Uh, it was Christmas or her birthday, I got her um, uh, 360 so I could get her beautiful Katamari. And I got her a PSP and got her um, it me and my Katamari, I think. And it will not let me skip past this stuff. I really just don't care about these screens. So yeah, the only one she doesn't have now is... Um, Touch my Katamari for the PSP or PS Vita because we don't have a Vita. 
Okay. All the things. And poof, we have a jelly star. Prince's home planet, so you play as the prince. This is your basic navigation to the stages and sound test and other options and whatnot. There's presence, turn the vibration on and off, view the constellations, the sound, collection, data. Can I just, like, how do I? Okay, yeah. If I go here, make star one, make star two, what's the next one? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't want to listen. I'm impatient. Okay, inside the house. 20 centimeters is the goal. Six minutes. Okay. Out of that basket. Let's pull up these tacks. Ants. Oh, there's a bunch of ants. So I can't pick up the candies yet, really. Ah. Yes. Thumb tacks and push pins. It's a coin. Some uh, mahjong pieces, I believe. And let's turn around. Candies now, that's good. Uh, blocks, can't get the blocks. Ah, uh, see where the ants are coming in at. Oh, they need to spray. Uh, and the controls are a little odd on this one the first few times you play it. Um, you know, it's dual sticks, so you need to like push both sticks forward to roll one forward and one backwards to do a quick turn. Stuff like that. It's um, you get used to it, but uh, sometimes in a pinch, it's kind of hard to navigate where you're wanting to go. Okay, seven. Let's go up here. These pencils. Oh, these are all mahjong pieces. I can't see. Okay, I can't go over there yet. What is it, 10 centimeters for this one? It's, well, they give you a lot of time, don't they? For, you know. Ah, see, then you get something like odd shaped and it throws off your uh, your roll. See, it looks like it's all like limping, sort of. That makes sense. That white butterfly. Can I get the box yet? Ooh, I can. Yeah, see, once you. Oh, what hit me? The mouse. See, like I said, once you start uh, picking up bigger things, you can get exponentially bigger. You'll keep picking up more. Okay, so now he's like, okay, well, just make it bigger. Oh, wait, no, it's 20 centimeters. I'm supposed to be a third. It says it right there. I'm stupid. Still, though, as you can see, it's going up quite a bit faster than it was initially. You know, Nails. Nice roll walk. So aristocratic. We are desert. Yeah, this is a weird game. If you couldn't tell already, this actually could have been a good contender for my weird games episode. I'd really like for you to stop talking so I can see what I'm doing here. Got some uh, set tapes over here. See, I'm just knocking against those pencil holders and stuff's falling off. Ugh. Ugh. That's one downfall. You start getting bigger and start running into stuff. Uh, can I come up here, please? Ugh. I'm stuck under the TV. Come on, let me up here. Let me up there. Oh, I'll get these cars. Or, yeah, 
New Year's class. And there's a dude just sleeping, or this lady sleeping at the table, with a spit bubble coming out of their face. While I roll up all the food undetected. It's tape. Yeah, I can get the pencil cups now. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go over here. Aha! I got that 20. Look at that, not bad at all. You may as well make it much bigger, as unless you're ready. There are prints. We have an idea. If large enough, you'll be able to turn it into your star. Directly back to your home plan on the prosper, and we'll see you later. Remember that. Get those uh, snowflake things. I guess I'm out in the garden now. Ugh. I got a kitchen knife. I don't know why there's random kitchen knives in the garden. Why are there random kitchen knives out there? It's so bizarre. Not like anything. This game really needs to make sense. You see, I'm all rolling funky now because I one knife. These magnets that are also randomly placed in the uh, garden. Some of the stuff you can roll up in this game is just really, really out there. And it's cool. Like later on in the, the, some of the higher stages, you'll get, you know, be able to roll up bigger and bigger stuff, and you'll be able to like roll up people and cars and buildings and even way late in the game like consonants and stuff there's like the last stages you have to uh, make the moon so you have to roll up a ton of stuff ah stuck what did I hit early cell phone <laughs> uh, please just let me up here why are you not letting me up there? Gosh. Jeez, man. I love spider. What are these lollipops? Oh, I didn't realize lollipops were uh, homegrown. Yeah, you get that annoying siren when it's uh, within a minute or 30 seconds or whatever. Can I get to 30 before the time? Can I get 30? You get 30? 30 centimeters? Come on. Come on, give me the 30. Yay! I got 30. All it matters, I only needed to get 20, but, you know. Still. Alright. Time is up. Yeah, that's <laughs> the preferred way of transport, apparently, for uh, the king of the cosmos and the prince. Uh, I got a present. Uh, looks like a scarf or something? I don't know. We have a pencil star. I guess I got more pencils than anything else. I don't know. Oh yeah, these, uh, Weird blocky cutscenes. It's time to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got for the present. Is this a scarf? All right. Yeah, I'll put that on. You know, you can use the uh, the presents as uh, avatar items. So, got a scarf now. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. You can look at the constellations you've made. Go to space mushroom. Okay. Another cousin has arrived. So you have these cousins, right? And I guess I think you can choose them, like play. I I think this is where you can uh, choose who you want to play as. Let's see, there's Nick, Ace. Yeah, let's play as Ace. Can I play as Ace? Okay. Or is this. I guess it's only for two player mode. I don't. 
I know in later ones you can choose the cousins to uh, to play as just in the single player, but whatever. Let's see, make a cancer, the constellation, not the ailment. Make a star three. I think for that one you need to collect crabs. So let's check it out. I think you need to uh, get as many crabs as you can since cancer is a crab. Let's see, delicious, just hungry crab. Delicious crab. So yeah, I gotta collect crabs in this one. I think the more crabs that I collect, the um, the bigger the constellation will be. I don't think this one is so much based off of how big you are, but just based off of the the single item of the crab. And all the constellations are similar, um, where you'll have to collect a certain item and X amount of them. Let's see, five minutes to collect as many as I can. Let's see. There's some crabs, but I need to probably pick up some more stuff before I can even... No, can't pick up any crabs yet. Gotta... Ah! Gotta get all this stuff first. Some random rice donuts sitting in the hole. Okay, let's... Ah. Gotta love this crazy soundtrack. Oh, I got a crab. Okay, so I'm big enough to pick up the little yellow ones. The small fiddler crabs. Switch. Just kind of sit here and pick up these chimes. Right. Cat on top of it, moving it around. Just completely logical. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I can pick up the uh, the regular fiddler crabs now. I'm trying to sidestep, get away from the gotcha. Okay, building uh, building some steam now. Okay, the green ones still can't. How am I supposed to reach? There we go. All right, random stacks of things. Infestation of crabs over here. Uh, gotcha. Switch. Come here to you. Can I get the green ones yet? Doing too bad. I got 31 so far. That's not bad, right? Anything to do with monkeys. Thanks for the uh, update there, dude. Coconut crab. Some more small fiddlers. Come here to you. There we go. Okay, just 40 minutes. I'm up on this stuff. Here, okay. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Yeah, as weird as the soundtrack is for this game, it's actually really good. Um, and I, I like how they kept the uh, original soundtrack. You know, they could have put. They could have put some weird, you know, something more Americanized in it uh, for the U.S. release, but they decided to keep it uh, with the original Japanese stuff intact, and I think it, I think it turned out better because of it. It's really, uh, really very charming. Taking your lunch. Ha ha. Get from moping at the table. You don't need it, somebody else will. Oh, uh, move. Ugh, uh, 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 stuck. Okay. Oh. Around. Ugh. There's not really that many left. Is there? That green guy. I can get up here. 
that guy. Can I get you? There we go. Okay. 83. Some sponges. Can't get that guy. Oh, oh, maybe I can. Aha, I got that spider crab. This blue one over here. Turn around, go back here. This one. Get those because I'm too big. There we go. Ah. I got 93. That's gotta be pretty good. I assume with how little we're left that there's probably only a hundred in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So maybe there's like 120. Barf. Too crab intensive and kind of gross. Fab fabulous. Crab meat. Incredibly yummy. Drooling. Cancer. Yay. Yay. Little girl. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. I feel the cosmos. Cancer came suddenly back. Yay. So yummy. That's a weird little girl. Alright, how are we doing on time? Uh, let's do one more. We'll do the next Make a Star. Let's see. On those. Make a star three. We'll do that one and then I'll call it. I'm not gonna play through the whole thing. Blah 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 blah. Make a star. Blah 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 blah. I do like how when he talks, it's like scratching. All right, uh, rolling around the town. Fifty centimeters. Okay. Eight minutes. All right. Let's get to rolling. Of course, you want to roll up a lot of the smaller stuff in the starting area before venturing out. Otherwise, there'll be very few things that uh, you'll actually be able to uh, to roll up. You know, you don't want to get in a situation where you can't really do anything and pretty much have to restart the stage, which I think can happen. Not mistaken. Uh -huh. Lego. Well, it's not a Lego, it's a yellow brick, but we all know it's a Lego. But they are not getting sued. Butterflies, horse tails. All these. Are we planting toothbrushes? Is that what we're doing? gonna put in some eye drops and oh god my eyes so 
toothpaste. Yeah, kettle. I can't get. I can't get the toilet paper. And this chocolate. It looks like packs of cigarettes. Maybe they're chocolate cigarettes. Yeah, what are these arrows? Spears? Arrows? What the? Is there like an army shooting arrows somewhere? Random arrows. Another arrow guy. Okay, we got get these. No, we can't get those carrots. See, I'm in a spot where I not able to pick up anything, so I have to uh, pick up some more small stuff. Ah, uh, turned in the wrong way. Okay, ink stone. This is like an ink pad for stamps or something. Okay. Picking up more stuff. There's fruits up here I can get. Okay. Get these mice that uh, scream when you grab them. Get this milk. Milk. Mmm. Mmm. Vitamin D. Ketchup. Down here. Some stuff I can get down here, I think. Socks. Paint. Watermelon. <laughs> you see that tire? Look, this, this car has a pizza for a tire. What in the world? <laughs> it's so freaking weird. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can pick up this stuff now. Oh, stupid dog. Kitty rake. Dung beetles. Oh, that's what those things are. They're, they're dung beetles pushing poo around. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, I can pick up all this stuff in that starting area now. I will say that this game can, like, start, you know, making your thumb a little bit sore. Not sore, but like, I don't know, you can almost feel like it's gonna cause you to have a blister or something. Super nice one. Okay. okay, I guess I'm back over here. I didn't realize I was going right back to that area again. Let's see some stuff. Let's go back up this way. Let's pick up these wooden sandals. Oh, remote control car. I want it. Come here, you. Come here, you. I get you. I got you. Oh, no, I didn't get you. Come back. I guess I just kind of like smashed it or something. I rolled over it, but it wouldn't let me get it for whatever reason. Some iron. Uh, turn around. Get back up there. I want some more stuff. Some more stuff up there. Some sandals. Yeah, one thing is, like, the view does not, it is not your friend in this game. It, uh, it definitely works against you more than it helps in a lot of spots. Sneaky rats! Can I pick up 
this person. Ah! <laughs> Fire extinguishers, some crabs, some fish. Where are you? Where are you? Everything. Ah, I wasn't fast enough to get those birds. Ooh, I want that pizza tire. Give me the pizza tire. Aha! <laughs> uh. Car pizza. That'd be yummy. Let's see. These little single monkeys. And time. 77, not too bad for uh, a goal of 50, right? I guess. I mean, I'm sure the people who are like power players at this, you know, power players at this game could probably get way past that. I know some people are really serious about some Katamari. I'm sorry, I don't <laughs> I just do that every time. It's pretty big. Thing I collect the most of playtime things. So I assume it'll be like a playtime star or something. Something of the like bratty star. I guess I can see that. That makes sense, right? Mom, they said on TV that all the stars the disappear. Stars. <laughs> oh honey, things like that just don't happen. Don't be stupid, There's Jimmy. That's what they said, right? They said it on TV, it must be true. Well guys, I'm going to call it there. That is Katamari Damacy for the PlayStation 2. It's it's an alright game. It's not one of my favorites, but it's fun for a, you know, a brief playthrough every once in a while. Um, some people get really into it. I never really did, but that doesn't mean that it's not bad. So, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.